Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little review tutorial type of thing on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Prison Palette. It's really, really pretty. It's got these yellows and blues and some warm tones, which I always love. Um, personally, I got it with the intention of using it in conjunction with a subculture palette. So for this, I'll be using both. Let me show, let me show you them together because I think they look great. They look great together. I think it's perfect. They're perfect together. I only dipped into the subculture palette for a couple of colors and there's some makeup geek dupes for them as well. So if you don't have a subculture, don't like it, you can use something else, anything else you have. But with no further ado, let's get to it. First off, I'm gonna take the lightest matte shade, Unity, on a fluffy blending brush all over as a transition shade. It doesn't have to be precise. Next, I'm gonna apply Sphere to my crease. I build it up slowly because I prefer to use a lighter hand, but it will end up looking really nice and bright in the end. For this shade, I'm dipping in an Untamed from the Subculture palette. If you're not a fan of that palette, feel free to use any mid-toned matte green in its place. For this look, I did a ton of back and forth blending with the different colors. You'll see me using the same brushes in the same shades over and over again. I dipped my brush into the black shade Obsidian and patted that onto my outer V softly. Make sure you don't get a ton of that product on your brush. With that same brush, I'm taking Access from the Subculture palette, which is a deep forest green right on top of Obsidian. With a wet shader brush, I'm applying Throne all over the lid. I was so amazed of how beautiful and multi-toned that glitter in this color was. Right here is where I had the bright idea to add Osiris on top of Throne, but I didn't really like the look so I ended up going back over it with Throne again. After applying the shimmers, I went back in with all the matte shades I've already used to make sure everything was blending properly. I decided to leave my winged liner process in the video. I'm not the best at it, but I think the Tarte Manager liner makes it pretty easy to do, and I thought you guys might want to see how I do mine. Since I applied my face makeup off camera, I wanted to add the swatch photo of both me and a friend with a much deeper skin tone. Thank you so much to Z for helping me out. Check out her Instagram in the top left corner. Here I'm applying the Maybelline Waterproof Gel Eyeliners in black and then going over it with a green shade. They're pretty smudgy, so I decided to smoke them out on my lower lash line with a small detail brush, making sure to connect it to my wing. With the same ColourPop brush from before, I'm taking Sphere onto my lower lash line to blend out that liner. I'm now adding the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in Punch to brighten my waterline, and because I totally love yellow. And then I'm tightlining my upper lashes with that black Maybelline liner. All right, so I definitely had to change my shirt. What I had on before didn't really go with this green, yellowy vibe thing I had going on. So um, I really enjoyed the palette. I dipped into this yellow shade, a little bit of this one, this was my transition shade, and then this teal shade right here. I did notice with the shimmer that you have to use Fix Plus to do it. I mean, you can get some color payoff without it, but it's just not that great. I tried dipping into this darker blue right here, and I just, I didn't, I can barely even see it. It doesn't look like I use it at all. I felt the same thing with these. These show up a little bit better without Fix Plus, but they still need it. Eternal, this bronzy one, it does not need it. It is beautiful. I haven't really gotten to use the warm colors at all, but they've swatched really nicely. I have noticed that everyone's complaining about subculture being powdery. I don't really have an issue with it because I have a relatively light hand, but Sphere, you can already see that I've used it and I've only used it for this look. So it's a little bit, getting a little bit product taken down, but I think these two palettes work really well together. I think the colors blend together really nicely, just build them up slowly. Use a light hand and then just keep building it and you'll be able to get a good payoff. Even, I have a really, really fair skin tone and the yellow's even showing up on my eyes, so I think it works out really well. This shimmer here is absolutely stunning. Everyone's been complaining lately about packaging, like not just this, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette there complaining about that being hard to clean. This is a hard palette to keep clean. I've had it for about a day and I have cat hair all over it, um, but it's still a pretty palette. I'm not that worried about it being presentable. Um, I mean, you can wipe it down with a makeup wipe, but if I've tried it with my Modern Renaissance. If you do it too hard, it will wipe off that velvet, that fake velvet. 
But all in all, I do enjoy it and I hope you guys too. If you like this video, please comment down below. So tell me if you want me to review anything else, do any tutorials on any other palettes. Um, also, give this video a thumbs up. Tell me what you want to see. If you want to see anything else I did that I didn't show in this video, let me know and I will get a video up for you. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.